Okay, so it is day five or six. It's Friday. Um, yesterday we did not do a lot. I just went to class and then I went to the grocery store. Um, I ended up feeling pretty sick yesterday. Don't know what it is, but I feel better right now. We'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> but grocery trip was very productive. Um, ended up paying like 20 dollars, Tony Australian dollars, um, for the things that I got, which was pretty good. Um, so I got bread, granola bars, ramen, PB&J. So I have no idea what these are going to taste like, but we went to Chenggu Station to get these things. Um, it wasn't terribly far from where we are, and they had a good selection, decent selection, fresh uh, produce and everything, so yeah. So today is Saturday, it's our first weekend here. Um, most people in the group went down to Uluwatu. It's a um, very touristy, white sand beach area. Um, but they're staying for the weekend. I decided not to go because I wanted to get the most out of the area I'm in right now. Today I ended up going back to Kuta. Um, but this time I saw a little bit more of it. Um, we went to this really awesome locally run restaurant. It was part of a night market, but it was open during the day. Like, we went inside, and we got to, like, pick and choose stuff that went on the rice. So I got chicken curry, um, like, some vegetables, fried egg. It was awesome, very delicious, totally hit the spot. Um, and they had tiny kittens there, too. So adorable, oh my god. And we just kind of walked around and got to see more of the area, which was really nice. Um, there were a couple of really cool-looking schools. I don't know really what to tell you about them. I can't read the signs. And then we walked by some very small temples as well. And it's interesting because the sign said like, you know, you have to cover up before you go in and like you can't be menstruating if you're a woman or whatever in order to go in, etc, etc. So one of the cool things that I've noticed here is that there's little uh, they kind of look like little packages on the ground. Their offerings placed at the entrance of buildings or shops, and so you just want to be careful to not step on them if you're walking around in the area. But there's a lot more to come. <laughs> so let's see how the temple goes tomorrow. All right, so it's the second Friday of the trip. Um, today is the 20th. Is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Um, and I need to recap on the things that we've done. Um, it's been raining a lot this week. Like, I guess this is the wet season. December through March, I think? Yep, it's been crazy. I've been going to classes. The place that we have classes is called the Dojo. It's a co-working space. Pretty nice. We're in Chenggu, so the beach that is closest to us is Old Man's Beach. So we've been going down there um, to see the beach and like they have like a popular restaurant there as well. I know that it's a beach that people surf at sometimes, so if you're into that, then there you go. So we finally went to the temple, Tana Lot. Um, and I guess some people know it as the Sunset Temple because you are supposed to go there at sunset, I guess, as a tourist if you're into that. I guess like when you get to the temple, you have to pay uh, six Australian dollars if you're an adult. But when you get there, um, it's just a ton of shops, a ton of local shops, um, the bartering type, and you get to the temple entrance. And the thing I didn't like was it's just a tourist trap. There are so many people. Um, but it's like a really gorgeous view if you can look past the tourists. Um, Tanalot is not attached to the mainland, so you have to walk um, at low tide across to get into, well, to get there. As a tourist, you can't go inside. You have to be dressed in traditional Balinese clothes and go for the purpose of praying. But um, you can walk to the base where there is a cave and they'll bless you. Um, but there's like a lot of like, religion and like mythology surrounding it. I'm assuming that it's busiest at sunset. Um, it's still worth going if you want a few good pictures. 
And then we got caught in a thunderstorm on the way back and the electricity went out when we were waiting for our taxi, but got home safely. Um, one of the things that I did earlier in the week was we went to Samaniac, which is just another town. It's like a 20, 30 minute drive out of Chenggu. And it is more like resort, like upscale Western shopping center. So if you go there, plan on spending exactly what you would at home. Uh, it's not the place to barter. We also went to Pasar Kodak or the Frog Market. Um, and that was like a 30, 40 minute drive from our house. Um, and it's just like a market. And it's different from the other ones because it doesn't feel as touristy. Like you don't go there and find tourist items and souvenirs stuff. Um, it's more like a thrift shop vibe. And they have like, you know, little warungs or restaurants. I got this sick cat shirt. I feel like this will totally fit in in Seattle, but um, it was pouring rain, so it wasn't the most enjoyable experience. Um, yeah, but go when it's sunny. <laughs> Anyways, um, yep, so we're gonna go to Nusa Pineda tomorrow. Um, the presidential inauguration is tonight, so we're probably gonna watch that just to see if anything bad happens, and maybe we can write an article about it. Um, yeah. See y'all in Noosa Pineda. We went to Noosa Pineda on Saturday. Noosa Pineda is a, an island off the southeast coast of Bali. Um, so we had to take like a little ferry or a speedboat to get there. Uh, it cost like 35 Australian dollars round trip. Noosa Pineda is pretty like rural so there's not a ton of like touristy things there but it's really well known for like the natural wonders i guess so after our ferry ride we found our driver i'm looking sexy <laughs> so what what happened what how is the speedboat right now Sorry, this, is, this is strike three <laughs> so i didn't want to come too much water later I was a little bit worried when I saw the rod on his scooter. <laughs> and I was like, alright, all five of us on the back, yep, let's see that. But now we're in a van, so I think we'll be okay. We'll be alright. We'll be, <laughs> maybe. I maybe. don't know. Let's see if my bottle of wine smashed. <laughs> Definitely think that you should go there. Um, it has a totally different vibe because it is so rural. It's not very touristy, um, so that is one thing you have to keep in mind is like plan ahead, have your driver ready. It's really, really hard to scooter around there and like bring snacks and water because there's not as many restaurants or convenience stores and there's a few ATMs as well. And yeah, so that kind of wraps up this this week, this last week and a half. Next week is <laughs> gonna be another story. See you then.